In this video, I'm going to talk about the loss calculation for transformer in Maxwell. Um, in this simple model, we have the winding loss and the core loss. Um, for the winding loss, we, we can't calculate the winding loss in Maxwell in this simple model. This is because um, we represent the coil using a simple rectangular block, while in reality, coil has lots of different individual wires, and we didn't really simulate those individual wires. That's because it, it is going to take a lot of time. So for the winding loss, users uh, have to manually calculate it based on only um, Y cross section and the lens mm -hmm. um, which has been used. So how to calculate this core loss? In order to calculate the core loss, we need to define the loss information in the material. So um, we define the core loss model as the uh, electric steel because this is laminated. And the core loss um, is calculated based on in this uh, loss coefficient. Kh means the hysteresis loss coefficient. Kc means the current loss coefficient. Ke means excess, excess loss coefficient. Um, most likely, your vendor won't provide uh, this uh, information for you. What they provide is uh, usually the a loss curve um, at one frequency or at multiple frequencies. So um, you can input the BP uh, data here and the uh, frequency. Uh, the thickness here is the lamination thickness and, and also the conductivity is the lamination conductivity. Once you input this uh, information, Maxwell will automatically extract the KHKCKE for us. Um, and then we can calculate the core loss based on this coefficient. And there's one more setup. Uh, we need to right click like citation and set up uh, set core loss. We need to turn on the core loss calculation here. Otherwise, Maxwell won't calculate it for us. Um, if uh, if your transformer model also has like a frame metallic frames outside and uh, we want to include uh, include the loss uh, in the enclosure and then what we need to do is uh, we need to uh, right click like citation and set at the current effect and then find the um, then turn on the at the current effect for this metallic enclosure um, um, oh, you don't want to um, turn on the eddy current effect for the core. Actually, I would recommend you to change this one, this bulk conductivity as zero. The reason is, is um, we calculate the eddy current loss at the core uh, through the core loss model, not through the eddy current effect. So um, that's why.